In the endless darkness of our galaxy, scattered between frozen gas giants and barren rocky worlds, there's one strange place that defies expectation. It's called K218b, and it sits quietly in the Leo constellation, more than 110 light years away from our blue planet. This mysterious alien planet orbits a cold red dwarf, the kind of star that's dim and faint compared to our sun. And yet, despite the chill, K218b might be the most Earth-like world we've ever found, not in appearance, but in its atmosphere, chemistry, and possibly even biology. Years ago, scientists noticed water vapor in its skies using basic infrared data. Then came evidence of carbon-based molecules, essential for life. But it wasn't until the James Webb Space Telescope turned its eyes toward it that things really changed. Webb's deep scan revealed more than expected. In its cloudy atmosphere, researchers found a combination of gases that on Earth can only be produced by living organisms. This wasn't just theory anymore. It was real data. Biosignatures like these shook the astronomy world. They weren't just traces of water and carbon dioxide. There was methane, and more surprisingly, dimethyl sulfide, a chemical on Earth only made by marine life, especially phytoplankton. Along with it, Webb also found dimethyl disulfide, another complex compound tied to microbial life in Earth's oceans. This rare pairing in the same hydrogen-rich atmosphere was more than coincidence. It was like finding a footprint on the moon, undeniable, intriguing, and revolutionary. So what is K218b really? Scientists call it a Hyacian world, a cross between an ocean planet and one with a thick hydrogen atmosphere. It's bigger than Earth with a radius 2.6 times larger and mass nearly 9 times heavier. But size isn't what makes it special. It sits in the habitable zone, the narrow region around its star where temperatures could support liquid water, the first condition for life as we know it. Imagine an endless global ocean, cloaked in clouds and protected from harmful radiation by a blanket of hydrogen gas. With water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane confirmed, and now potentially biological molecules, scientists are being forced to confront a possibility that once sounded like science fiction, this ocean may be alive. Some suggest phytoplankton-like organisms drifting near the surface, harvesting faint red starlight for photosynthesis, just like ancient life did on our own planet. Others imagine more complex marine life forms, like primitive filter feeders or even floating creatures that skim through low gravity seas. Picture an alien version of flying fish, adapted to low pressure near the atmospheric edge, perhaps able to rise briefly above the waves. Some theories go even further, wondering if multicellular life has evolved, hidden under thick cloud layers, too distant for us to see but leaving behind a chemical trail. If so, K218b could be a mirror of Earth's early history, resembling our oceans as they were billions of years ago, before the rise of animals, cities, and civilizations. Its atmosphere, shaped slowly by microbial breath, could be changing right now, and we're witnessing it. Now, as evidence grows, debate rises. Should we contact this world? Should we send a signal across space? Or stay quiet and just observe? Some scientists, like Mark Buchanan, say reaching out would be a dangerous gamble. What if intelligent life exists and we're not ready to meet it? Others, like A.V.I. Loeb, argue that any advanced beings out there have probably already detected us. After all, we've been leaking radio signals for decades. If they're listening, they already know we're here. Still, sending a message would take 120 years to arrive, and another 120 to hear back. So for now, we wait. But while we wait, new data keeps arriving, and the picture keeps getting clearer. 
major agencies like NASA, ESA, and even China's CNSA are shifting their focus. New telescopes are being developed, like Louvois and Hebex, crafted to spot life, supporting worlds by scanning their atmospheres in detail. At the same time, radical ideas like breakthrough starshot are gaining momentum. Backed by billionaires and top physicists, this plan could one day launch tiny laser-propelled probes at 20% the speed of light toward nearby stars, including K218b. The travel time. Around 500 years. A long wait for humans, but a blink in cosmic time. We may never walk its alien shores, but our machines might someday touch its clouds. Beyond science, the discovery has sent shockwaves through culture. Philosophers, religious leaders, and thinkers are wrestling with what it means. Is life common in the universe? Are we part of a cosmic family? Or are we still clinging to Earth-centered thinking? On social media, hashtags like hashtag K218BLife and hashtag OceanWorld are trending. Streaming platforms are already working on documentaries and movies inspired by this discovery. People around the world are starting to look up again. But with that curiosity comes caution. Experts like DR. Monica Vidari are calling for exobiological sanctuaries, protected zones around life-hosting planets. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.